We're going to combine a couple of different things that we know how to do from Chief Architect videos and some of my own Chief Architect Shorts videos. I want to make some grids here, but you can see here that they're not going to split evenly on this door. And this is a door. This is using my bathroom tools, which my bathroom tools uses a door automatically placed over the top of a wing wall that I uh, provide. So, um, so I want to make this grid line up with the door grids right here. Okay, and so I'm going to pull an elevation view, and we're going to use um, we're going to use our CAD to Muntins tool. Actually, I'm not sure if that's what it's called. We're going to find out in just a second. So what I'll do is I'm going to draw out a line, and I'm going to center that line in the middle of this Mutton on the other side. And just to double check what the size of this is, because we can't quite get a center snap, uh, we'll just get into the lights, and we'll see that the Mutton width is seven eighths. So. I can draw out a line at seven, snap it to the bottom here, and then move this up, you know, to be in between that at seven eighths, right? So we can just say, we can even say seven eighths divided by two, believe it or not, not fun. So there you go, now I've got a center line. Now I wanna snap it to uh, the sash of this door or to the frame of this door, okay? And then I'll go ahead and make a copy, pull this up and I'll just, just to make sure that this is perfect, we'll snap it to this side, and then same thing, we're gonna move this up, 760, oops. Try that again, snap it to the side. Get in real tight, make sure we're snapping in correctly, and then move this up, 716ths. And then I can even draw an inference line off the center here, so that I'm making sure I'm centering this line. So now I have those two lines are in place. How do we get these other lines in place and split on this window, right? So I'm just going to draw a line from that top piece of frame to the bottom piece of frame. And then I'm just going to copy this, drag it over some arbitrary amount. I don't really care. Uh, because the next thing I'll do is I will control select. So now I have both of these lines selected. And from a previous CA Shorts video, we can use that align distribute along line and we'll catch this line right here. And we're gonna say we're gonna distribute between endpoints and go ahead and space evenly or distribute centers evenly. Either one will work here. Now, sometimes this little goofy thing happens where it pushes it way off center, right? So it took it over here, but it did in fact space it evenly. So the only thing I need to know now is that I wanna have that inference line. So I can grab both of these and just center on that inference line. It's kind of a glitch. I'll be reporting it. You know, if you run into these problems, please report them. So there we have it. I have my grid and it's lined up with this grid over here. That's perfect. I'm gonna use a select intersected mode, select all of these CAD lines. And then actually I don't need, um, I do need to do that first. I'm gonna make a CAD block so we can see here in the edit toolbar, make CAD block. Okay, once we have a CAD block, now we select the door itself. And you'll see in your edit toolbar is this tool right here. It's called Load Muttons Tool. Now we know what the name of it is, the Load Muttons Tool. And I'll click that, and there we go. I have a lined up grid. Let's look at this in 3D. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Simple enough.